We're used to the image of an engineer in a hard hat solving complex mathematical problems in an industrial laboratory. But at the University of Derby, they're breaking down this stereotype and proving that problem solving in labs doesn't look quite so uniform. John Gibson reports. David started uni in his 40s. I was nervous. Not nervous about fitting in, just about his maths. A lot of the formal maths scared me. But he was determined to become an engineer and knew maths mattered. I did have a maths GCSE, but the terms, I didn't understand them anymore. And that's where the University of Derby provided the helping hand he needed. What we're trying to do is demystify maths for those students who've got a lot of anxiety about it. Rich Connis helps students overcome their fears, and it's working. OK, so routes are often used for things like points that cross, or lines that cross the axes. Right, OK. Four years after David walked into this class, he's got his degree and is working on his Masters. I was lucky enough to come in on a foundation year, which, which replaced A-levels, um, and maths was taught for me with the specific idea of, of engineering itself. Um, so a lot of the maths had, it was taught in the way where there was an application. If you showed an interest but didn't understand it, they would make sure you got it. And it's this approach to learning which is helping Derby Uni give its engineering students the grounding in maths they need to succeed. Maths is one of those subjects that if you have a bad experience with it, you find it quite difficult to recover from. So part of what we're doing in here is getting third years and second years from the maths course to come in and do a bit of peer learning, because we tend to find that students work better with other students. What we need the engineers to be able to think about is, what does this problem look like? Does it look like something I've solved before? Because if it is, I can probably use that technique again. It's not just manipulating numbers, it's manipulating ideas. The Engineering College's Makerspace facility is one example of that principle in practice. Here, students get the freedom to develop ideas based on their own creative thinking. Maths is definitely an enablement in engineering. If you look at some of the challenges that we face with our students with mathematics, then it, a lot of it depends on who taught them maths at school. They have that innate skill set to build those mathematical skills up. So we're very much about bridging the gap here at the University of Derby. We have an amazing math support centre that allows students who probably understand enough of the skills that they need to get started within engineering, but allows them to accelerate those skills through. And of course, that means we can open up our opportunities in engineering to a wider uh, amount of talent that wants to come in and study engineering. We can see from where we're standing the way the motors connect to the wheels. Henry Bennett is another of Derby Uni's success stories. He left school at 15 with no maths skills, but recently graduated in electrical and electronic engineering. He also led the project to build this working replica of NASA's Mars rover. Everybody told me that to come back and do electronic engineering as a mature student was going to be extremely difficult. I think to come to university you've got to be really 100% committed to your subject, or you should be. And I wasn't at 18, I wanted to do different things. Henry's proof you can make a success of education later in life. But to see just how popular Derby Uni now is with mature students, let's talk numbers, because recent figures show that almost two-thirds of students are over the age of 21, and more than a quarter are aged 30 or over. It's all part of the uni's strategy to broaden its appeal, while acknowledging it still needs to go further. Particularly when looking at gender diversity. I don't think it's enough anymore just to push to increase the number of women in engineering, because actually a big problem facing the industry is LGBT plus people who take that opportunity at university to be themselves, to come out in some respects, but when they go back into industry, quite often they go back into the closet. And that's one of the reasons Derby Uni is determined to take the lead. It wants to show that by providing a positive environment, change can happen. Helping students to reach their engineering potential, regardless of gender, race, age or background. It's the best thing I've done in my life. It is literally the best thing I've done.